Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Denali and I am a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. My username is Elducho, E-L-D-U-C-H-O. And you can also, also find me on Instagram at Elducho Thrift. So I am here today, cheerleader move, um, which I was not in high school, with a big haul from the Goodwill outlet. I went on Wednesday or Thursday Thursday of last week I can't remember um, with my friend my friends Hillary and Brittany um, we went to the Seattle Goodwill as usual and <laughs> I don't have my receipt with me but I spent like a um, hundred and three dollars I want to say I pretty much got all textiles I picked up like literally like one bag with another little bag inside of it so this is like all textiles so I know I got just over a hundred pounds. Um, I didn't even have to weigh with the other gals because I met the hundred pounds by myself. So that means that everything I paid for um, was 99 cents a pound, which is awesome. So yeah, I guess I'll get into it. My cord is kind of wrapped up in my pile of clothing, which is here. You can kind of see the top of it. Um, so the camera might jiggle a little. I'm just warning you now. So I picked up a few different items this time. I guess I'll explain them when I get to them. Um, sorry, I'm adjusting myself. I'm rambling. Um, if you're interested in purchasing anything, which people do reach out to me about, just let me know. I will say the brand name and the size. And then you can actually email me. I'll put it in the description down below. But my email is just eldutrathrift at gmail.com. So... Um, just reach out to me directly and that is where I give pricing information on. Okay, uh, I grabbed this because it just looked really cool. Um, oh, I did want to add, <laughs> um, our friend Kayla joined us. She's Hazel Hearts Vintage on Instagram. She doesn't usually go to the bins. She just likes shopping at the regular thrift, but she joined us and it was a lot of fun. Um, you know, the bins aren't for everyone and that's totally fine because... There's lots to find clearly at the thrift store as well. Um, but there was one funny moment where we were just, Kayla and I were just starting to walk down an aisle of clothing and I saw the grossest thing. <laughs> I said to Kayla, I go, do not look right here or you will leave immediately. Because the gross factor is huge for a lot of people and I absolutely understand that. And by no means am I not scared of germs. I'm a little bit scared of germs. Um, but some of the stuff you can see there can be gross. And so, uh, anyway, she didn't look because she would have left. She would have straight up left. It looked like somebody had taken a jacket and um, had blown their nose in it and then just set it down. I'm not going to say more than that. So anyways, um, thank you, Kayla, for joining us. She did grab some great stuff on her way out, and she didn't stay that long, so hopefully it was a little bit worth her while. But anyways. <laughs> um, oh, and then I met this other lady <laughs> there. I won't give out her username in case she doesn't want me sharing it. But um, she had said that she found a dead rat in a bin like the week before. So, <sighs> yeah, that sucks. Um, <laughs> okay. Um this says Lassery's. Um, it says it's made in Morocco. I don't know that it's necessarily, I don't think it's vintage. I just think it was possibly just purchased in another country. There's the tag right there. I didn't look up comps on it. It's just really cool looking. It does all these little, not, uh, the light is bad. These little balls are going to fit through those loops. I just didn't do it yet because I'm lazy. Um, but that's just a really cute tunic and this is a size small. Um, the thrifting was good that day. There was one bin where I just literally, <coughs> it was so good that I just grabbed stuff and I was like, I'm going to sort this later. Um, and I think I actually kept all of it. So it worked out well. Oof. Um, then of course, per usual, I have stuff that friends tossed into my cart as well. Okay. This is a J crew. See, like, I don't know if I grabbed this or if Hillary gave this to me. This is a J. Crew size 12 dress. This is really pretty. I don't know if this was, like, from, like, their wedding line. Ooh, it's got pockets, too. Um, you know, unless something is really unique, I'm not probably looking up comps on it at, at the outlet. Um, 
J. Crew is just not something. Did I tell you it's a size 12? Um, J. Crew is just not a brand that I feel like I probably need to look up comps on. I already know ballpark what I will list it for and what I can get for it. Um, and J. Crew items do have a style number on the tag. Check out the tag. Um, so if you do like using stock photos, that can be helpful. Additionally, it will tell you the actual like style name of the item and it makes it easier for looking up comps. But you probably already know that. Um, this is a Lane Bryant blazer. It is new with tags. It's a size 26, originally $90. So I may list this, but I also was thinking about just, I have a bunch of thread up bags. So I was thinking about sending actually a lot of the new with tag stuff that I picked up. I was thinking about sending it just directly to thread up. Um, and I did intentionally pick up items today for that reason or the other day. This is a bound. It's an extra small tank. Um, I picked a bound up before, like, I think it's like from Nordstrom Rack, so maybe Nordstrom. Uh, I don't know that it's a big seller, but yeah. Okay, this is just like a little white blousey top with kind of these puffed sleeves. Um, the brand is Anne Fontaine Paris, so I was not familiar with this. This is a size 38. Um, Brittany actually grabbed this. And she was like, is this anything? Is it worth anything? And then I looked it up and I was like, hey, like the comps kind of look mixed on it. Like it, I think it could be a good item to pick up. So she grabbed it. And then later when she was sorting through stuff, she's like, you can have this. And I was like, okay, I'll take it. So I took it. Um, this is, like I said, the only bag I picked up. This is a Patagonia over the shoulder bag. Um, there is a flaw, which there's like a hole here. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to stitch that little hole or just let somebody else do it because I think it's pretty minor. Um, the material is nylon, so this is easy to machine wash and just kind of clean up. I don't think it'll be, you know, it'll be restored to its initial very vibrant colors. Um, but I feel like I've sold this style of bag before and it is pretty desirable. And then of course, you know, I picked up a little Ipsy bag, so that's inside of there. But those are the only two bags. So sometimes, oh, that's from another haul. Um, sometimes, you know, it's an accessories day for me. If they had accessories there, I just, I had missed a lot of the rotations of that. And so I didn't feel like, usually I like going through the bottom of the bin to just kind of see what people miss. I don't really feel like doing it that day. I kind of stuck with clothes. So um, probably because I have a lot of, a lot of handbags to still list. Um, okay, I think uh, Hillary gave me this. This is a Calvin Klein blazer. It's a size six. Um, yep, that's it. Uh, maybe I'll send that to thread up. I don't know. This is cool. Um, I feel like I picked up this brand. It's vintage. It's um, Rothschild. So this is a child's jacket, a size five, with like this faux fur and these like little rosette buttons oh I guess it just kind of buttons in there it's in you know good condition it could probably use a dry cleaning can you see it it's really cute and it's lined I believe it's wool um it could use a dry clean yeah it's 100% wool it could use a dry cleaning oh yeah see there's some spots there I'm not gonna be the person to dry clean it but I'm gonna let somebody else do that um comps when I looked them up were good enough for me to sell so if you ever see Rothschild, you know, and you're at the bins, um, which I like to give that warning every time. Sorry if it, you know, <laughs> just feel like I need to tell people this is all from the bins. I'll pay, I pay for, you know, all this stuff for a very low amount, 99 cents a pound. So, you know, just take that into account. I'm holding up a linen dress. This probably weighs eight ounces maybe. So that means I paid 50 cents for this. So when I tell you to pick up a J. Jill linen dress um, because I think it's worth it. I think linen in general is worth it. Um, you know, you got to keep in mind that that's what that's what I'm paying. So this is a size large petite. I love this dress. I feel like I picked up something similar to this. This is going to be great for somebody who's going on a vacation or a trip. I'm not afraid to pick it up right now because I know that you know. Um, I just got a Poshmark notification. Um, I know that there are people who go to, here's my dog, here she is, um, you know, who go to Hawaii. What do they call it? Like a snowbird? If people leave and they come back for the, they leave for the winter. Anyways, I know that, there's another notification. 
I know that there are snowbirds who like to purchase items um, for vacations. And I've taken a vacation. Oh my gosh, have you ever taken a vacation? If you live in a cold place and taken a vacation to a warm place like in December, it is amazing. I gotta do one of those again. Okay, moving on. Can you stay, please? Okay, this is just another vintage dress. It was in really good condition, so I picked it up. It's super cute. I don't know if there's a brand or anything. Oh yeah, there is. It's Polly Flinders. Um, size, it says T2. <laughs> uh, hand smocked. Um, it's in really good condition. I thought it was so darn cute. I didn't look up comps, so it is what it is, right? Okay, this is a... Oh, I think this was like in the mad heap of things I grabbed. Do you pronounce that Aster or A-S-T-R? Um, the label it says. I feel like I've seen this at Nordstrom. I don't know where else it's sold. It's a size small, kind of like a little cropped top. Winnie, move. Um, this is, I don't know how this got in my cart, but that's okay. This is a, <coughs> excuse me. BCBG Max Azria, extra small. Oh, it's 85% silk, 15% cashmere, you know, waterfall, open cardigan, ivory. It's in good condition. I probably must have grabbed it for the material. Kayla and I were sharing a cart in the beginning, so there could have been items that she left in my cart. I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Um, this is a Zara knit sweater. It's a size small. I think it's kind of looks bluey, very dark, dark blue, but it could be black. I don't know. Cause now it looks black in that, but it looks blue when I look at it. Anyways, <laughs> what is the material on this? This is a, does it say, Oh, you know, these tags, it's like so difficult to read. Um, no, it's just like viscose and acrylic, but it feels really soft. So Anyways, um, this is, oh, I got this to send in the thread up. I don't even know if they'll take it. This is just a Kohl's Sonoma layering tank, new with tags, um, coral colored. This is a, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> this was in, oh, there's another piece to it. Where'd it go? <laughs> okay, there's a, I feel like there was a tank that went underneath this. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong one. Okay, this is Leif Notes, which um, is anthropology. Really pretty blouse. I swear there was like a little layered tank that went underneath. I don't know. Um, did I say what size? No, there's no size on it. I don't know, it looks like a small or a medium. <coughs> I haven't been coughing. And now all of a sudden I am. Is there any left? Okay. Huh. That'll help. Okay, this is, this had no name brand on it, but I just had a good feeling about it, so I picked it up. These are a pair of pants. They say size three on them. Um, they are 72% linen, 28% silk. They say made in the USA, but there is no other information on them. They're really cool looking like cropped little ankle pants, this green, kind of have like a shimmer to them. I don't know, they were giving me like some lagging look vibes. So I'm gonna throw that in the title, call it a day. Okay, so I do have three items from my Colorado haul, of course, right? Oh, I just realized I have some stuff in my bathroom. I'm gonna have to grab stuff from my bathroom again. I'm sorry guys, stuff that I let air dry. Um, I have some Colorado stuff that I forgot to show. So there's only three. So this is one of them. This is a Burton dry ride, um, like some sort of like layering thermal piece for probably snowboarding or skiing. It is a size something, medium. It's like leopard print. Thought that was cool. Um, this is ooh, a Patagonia sweater with no size I'll try and find it like a knit sweater it did have a spot on it which I was able to clean out so I have laundered most I think everything from my Seattle 
uh, thrift the other day. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'll measure this and get a size out of it. But it, if I had to say, it looks like a medium. It's like ivory. Um. Oh, and then this is the last one. It is an... I think a piece of it just got in my mouth. <laughs> this is an Erin Crafts. Uh, size extra large, 100% wool, um, Irish wool sweater. Um, so this is the tag. If you're looking for a little bolo brand there. Um, these are great to pick up. Obviously the better condition, the higher the amount that it will sell, but those do sell for good money. Um, this I got for, <coughs> excuse me, this I got for my son. Just a little Darth Vader playing the drums. <laughs> Top. Is this from this haul? Huh. Okay, this is a LuLaRoe duster. I can't remember what you call this one. Is that like a, it's not a Lindsay, a Sarah? I can't remember. Boy, that LuLaRoe has been in the news recently, right? Okay, so size small, like a green, <laughs> greenish color. Um, LuLaRoe is super fun to learn about um, because it's a little culty. Um, they've got, I listened to a really good podcast on them. Um, if you like listening to podcasts, I believe in the podcast store, it's called something like MLM something. Just type MLM and you'll find like an MLM pod podcast. I believe there's two episodes that they did on LuLaRoe and it's from two former LuLaRoe sellers and it is so interesting. So I highly recommend you listen to that. Okay. This is a J crew tank. It's a size six and it's like a navy and red and I thought that was cute. Um, this is another J. Crew. I think this is their newer label, the black one. It's a size four. How fun is this? I love this. It reminds me of Mary Mecco. If you're familiar with Mary Mecco, that's a bolo brand right there. Um, this is, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't know if I grabbed this or somebody put it in my cart. An, an, a nanny <laughs> size 42 dress how pretty is this I love that so Brittany or Hillary if you put that in my cart thank you okay this is a J crew it's a J crew factory if you didn't know those two little dots underneath there means J crew factory um, sorry I'm moving my cord there dress this is really cute it's like a shirt dress size 4 Mm -mm -mm. This is a desigual, size extra small, I believe child's, right? It could be a lady's, but this looks really small. But it could be a lady's. It looks like a girl's. I don't know. It did say 176 on there, which makes me think it's a girl's, but maybe it's not. I don't know. Okay, this is, <laughs> excuse me, a pair of J brand jeans. I don't know if I picked these up or if somebody threw these into my cart, um, but they are size 25. Um, they're in good condition. It's like a darker wash, a skinnier straight leg, no fraying. Yeah, they're in really good condition. Um, This Kayla gave to me. She didn't want to pick it up. It's a Diane von Furstenberg, the color authority. I feel like I've picked up that once before in my life. It's like a metallic black cable knit sweater. In really nice condition. There's that. What are these? Another pair of jeans. These are Joe's jeans. Size. <laughs> Did they cut the tags out? I think they cut all the tags out, so I'm going to have to measure these. Um, they look to be the same size or smaller than those other ones that I grabbed or was showing you a minute ago. So I'd say a 25 or 24, do they make a 24? Kind of looks like a boot cut at the bottom. Okay, this is a Torrid bikini top. It's a size zero and it's new with tags. Originally 68.50, but I feel like Torrid's one of those places that it's like things are always on sale, kind of like Kohl's. Basically where they're falsely advertising to customers because the real the price is actually never the real, <laughs> the real price. Um, this is a LuLaRoe, which one are you? The Irma. I always forget this one. It's an extra, extra small, like a minty green, new with tags. Because of all the LuLaRoe drama in the past year, 
there has been such an influx of new with tags items at the bins and the regular thrift as well. This is just Old Navy. It's a size 4T, like a little girl's plaid dress. I just thought it was so cute. And I'm actually going to lot up a bunch of kids stuff and eventually sell it as a, you know, whip in like sizes. Okay, these are a pair of American Eagle Super Stretch X jeans. These are size zero, which this is like what those other Joe's jeans look like. Very skinny leg. I do like picking up American Eagle jeans because I think they actually make really good jeans, which I've said in other videos. Um, my hair thing is bothering me. Um, I think they make really good jeans and people know what they want. Look at this crazy. Um, people know what size they already wear there. And so I feel like, you know, it's an easy 15 to 20 odd dollars. So I think they're worth picking up. Um, these are a pair of Ann Taylor Loft Outlet size 2P modern skinny, so petite. These look like they're more never worn. It's most of the jeans that I've picked up feel very, like they're in very good condition. Okay, this sweater, I was just at a bin and the guy next to me started talking to me, which I don't always engage, <laughs> but he was being friendly and nice. And so he was asking me what I thought about the condition of the sweater. And I was like, yeah, it's good. You just need to sweater shave it. He didn't want to do it. So anyways, it's a Patagonia women's cardigan, like button down cardigan, kind of longer, um, size medium. <coughs> he gave it to me. And then as he gave that one to me, he lifted it up and he found another one for him. So it worked out. That's good karma for you, right? You can share products and info and knowledge with others and it will come back to you. It won't just negatively affect you. Isn't that crazy, right? Um, this is an ASOS maternity dress. I think Hillary gave me this. This is a size six, sleeveless with like these little ruffle cap sleeves. Oh no, never mind. Those are supposed to be tucked in. So it's just straight up sleeveless. It's navy blue. It's hard to see because of my wonderful lighting. Um, this is, okay, never seen this before. It's Eddie Bauer, but it says AKA Eddie Bauer. So I'm not familiar with that line. It's 100% linen, so of course I grabbed it. It's a women's medium and it's kind of this, what color, like a Tiffany blue almost. Top, let's see. Am I not saying the sizes? I feel like I didn't say large. Uh, this is a pair of pants from J. Crew. They're size six. Mm. What's the material on this? 100% linen. Thought so. I think they're like an ankle length. I don't know. They don't. The inseam looks a little shorter to me, but they're cool looking. Like a trouser. Kind of has a sheen, metallic sheen to them. Um, this I bought because I'm going to give to a friend of mine, their kid, for this cool pride shirt. Um, but there was a couple stains on it, so I just need to clean it out. Um, this is, oh, I wasn't familiar with this. So it's Madewell. It says Miles by Madewell. I'll show you the tag. It's a size extra small. Can you see that? Miles by Madewell? New to me. Um like a little pullover sweater. It is cropped. Hopefully you could see that because I couldn't see the camera. This, <coughs> excuse me, I think it's Banana Republic. Let's see. Yep, Banana Republic, size four. I just really like the print on this. Sleeveless top and it's got these cool anchors, which sometimes I like picking up that stuff because I know that um, like sororities or organizations will use anchors as a symbol. So you can sell it for those reasons. Um, I feel like Brittany gave me these. These are a pair of Oshkosh little overalls, new with tags. So maybe I'll throw that in to one of my lots that I'm building. Brittany found this, I feel like. Maybe it was Hillary. This is a little Kate Spade girls shirt. It's a size extra large. Um, there is a spot <clears throat> somewhere on here. Yeah, down at the bottom here. But I'm going to use maybe like my Tide pen or Clorox pen and try and get it out. I think I can get that out. 
Um, these are a pair of Under Armour size 10, new with tags, pants, capris. Back in the day, I'm thinking of something funny in my head and laughing. Um, I used to call those, my friends and I would call them shants because they're not, they're not shorts and they're not pants. So they're shants. But they're capris or whatever you want to call them. Pedal pushers. Oh, that's an old term. Okay, this is Waif and it is a size medium. It looks like it was sold at Nordstrom for $59. It's new to me. I've never seen that tag before. I didn't look up comps on it. Maybe this will be one of the ones I send to, I'm trying to figure this out. I think it's inside out. I think it buttons back here and then it's like open there. It's inside out, but you get the idea. It's a size medium. Maybe I'll just send it to throw it up. Um, these are a pair of H&M. I just really like the print. I believe these are a men's. This is a 33 regular. Oh, they're new with tags. I just saw that now. <laughs> um, yeah, it's got little palm trees on them. Reminds me of Palm Springs, which I love Palm Springs. And I'm going there in like 10 days. So I'm really excited about that. Um, this is, I don't know. It says We Love Vera or We Vera something. It's a size extra small. This is interesting. I don't know where it was being sold at, but it says $34.95. It's just a cute little floral dress. I didn't look up comps on it. I'm not sure if it's worth $34.95, but I'll look. Um, this is, oh, I feel like when I told Hillary about this, she was like, that's a good brand. It's a, um, Dear Creatures, it's a size extra small. And again, it must've come from the same place because look, it's got that same tag. This one says, $32.95. So I don't know. If Hillary thought this one was good, maybe the other one's good? I don't know. Okay, Hillary gave me these. These are Lauren, Ralph Lauren, size 4, 100% wool pants. Kind of like, I don't know. Almost like a cargo style because it's got all these pockets on them and they're ivory and they're in good condition. Hillary just didn't want to sell them. Um, I was teasing Hillary, <laughs> saying something about some brands, like some, like her pile of stuff that she didn't want and, you know, maybe not as good of brands. And I was, anyway, I was teasing her and I was going to, I told her that I was going to tell all my YouTube subscribers that Hillary said these are Bolo brands <laughs> just to give her a bad rap, you know, but I'm not, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> okay. This is, and it was Hillary's birthday on Friday, the 21st. So if you don't follow her, she is thrift underscore Zilla, so thrift underscore Zilla on Instagram. And I think she's just thrift Zilla on Poshmark. So if you want to go follow her and say happy birthday, that's very nice of you. This is a Columbia size medium men's pullover, you know, just a little basic. This is a, what is this? I think it's a North Face jacket, size large women's. I should keep this for myself, but I'm not. Sorry, I'm just buttoning it really quick or Velcroing it. Um, oh, I wanted to follow up. I did put it, <coughs> excuse me, in the description of my last video, but I said that Velcro is referred to, I said hook and closure, and I'm sorry, I meant hook and loop. Um, so hook and loop is a term that you can use on eBay. You cannot say Velcro. Anyways, <coughs> excuse me, this is the North Face jacket. It's just like a green, you know, shell raincoat. Um, I, feel, I feel like there is a flaw on here. Oh yeah, Hillary gave me this. There's just like some like black something. I washed it and it didn't come off and maybe somebody else can get it off. I'm just not gonna be the person who does that. This is an ex officio, extra extra large men's insect shield repellent apparel. This is like some hiking, outdoorsy, camping gear for a, a man. Okay, this is Columbia, size medium, just like a pullover, nice like layer. This would be good for like cross-country skiing or something like that. Plus, I really like the print on it. This is 
Novara Extra Large. I don't know if I looked up comps on this. It's just like a hoodie. Like definitely an outdoor athletic brand. I think I picked this up. Maybe somebody else gave it to me. I don't know if that's a men's <coughs> or a women's. So it kind of looks like a men's, but I'm not sure. This is a Columbia jacket, size large. This is a woman's, women's. It's a fleece, just a black jacket. I kind of like that one. It's soft, like the one I kept for myself. These are a pair of ex officio pants. These are size 40 men's with an inseam of 34 inches. Just a black pair of long pants, not much to them. You guys know by now, I like picking up ex officio. It does sell. I live up in the Northwest, so I'm in this bubble of people doing outdoor activities. So that's why I like to pick it up. Okay, on that note, I've got another ex officio men's vest. This is a size large. Okay, something, oh, I know what this is. There's a Patagonia jacket I picked up that kind of went kaput. So all these like little fuzzies from the down came out. Okay, this is a Helly Hansen extra large men's shirt. Okay, halfway done, which is good because the timing on this is about halfway through where I like to be. These are a pair of Old Navy, yes, you heard me, Old Navy pixie pants, mid-rise, size four. I really like the print on these, just like a little black polka dot um, pant. Again, Old Navy, I file it in the same bucket that I put American Eagle, which is that people know their size, they know what they like, they, you know, there's not gonna be too much of variance. It's like going to Starbucks and ordering a latte. Like you go there because you know that the latte in Seattle tastes the same as it does in New York, right? But you know, when you go to another new cafe, you can't always guarantee that it's gonna be exactly how you like it. So that's how I feel about like Old Navy and American Eagle and those sort of just bread and butter brands. Okay, this is an Obermeyer size, <coughs> excuse me, oh, ladies large sweater so this guy passed it up in the bin and I don't think I found a flaw but maybe yeah I don't know this vintage reseller I could tell he was a vintage reseller he passed it up and I thought this is such a great piece um, but you know a lot of times <clears throat> those guy vintage resellers don't pick up lady stuff they just want to pick up men's stuff so that's where we score as a lady um, these are a pair of DKNY Soho boot cut jeans. They are an eight short. They are new with tags. So very dark rinse on these. Um, I'm probably going to send those to thread up. I feel like maybe that would do well. Um, oh gosh, sorry. <laughs> Move the camera. I told you the cords here. Um, these are a pair of cartonniere. I think that's how you pronounce it. They are from anthropology. It's a size two, but look at this fun print. It's like a skinny, I mean, it looks like an ankle, ankle length. What is the material on these? Oh, just cotton and spandex. It kind of felt like linen, but they're really cool. Anyways, anthro. Did you want to see the tag? Sometimes people are like, please show the tag. Oh yeah, it does say ankle, Charlie ankle. Okay, there's those. Try not to hit the these are a pair of I think this is Target it's Isabel maternity jeans just with like a stretchy waistband they are new with tags I'm gonna send these probably to thread up I gotta look at the list to see if they will accept it otherwise I'll just sell it okay these are cool this is a pair of cachet pants size 6 yeah if you can see it what's the material cotton rayon and spandex they're really cool looking again this like cargo style pant they're they feel like satin and they're black I don't know there's like a little pull there but it kind of looks like it's part of like the fabric but anyway I'll disclose it if that's the case okay these are these are a pair of cabbie jeans this is a old tag but they're size 14 which I like that they're a bigger size cabbie you can usually find a stock photo 
they look like they're either a straight leg or mildly a boot cut. Um, so I picked them up. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, what are these? Okay, these are a pair of Lucy leggings, size medium. They're actually, oh, a Capri. It's kind of like a looser fit Capri. Um, again, picking up, I've been picking up um, athletic wear items. I mean, I pick them up anyways, but especially because the new year and people are going to be exercising. Um, I'm going to add this into my little kids lot that I'm creating. This is just like a little Levi's size 12 months T, which is real cute. Um, this I gave to Kayla, so I feel like I need to give this back to her. I did wash it for you, Kayla. Oh, there's a little hole, so maybe you don't want it back. But it's just this terry cloth vintage little sweater. I'll ask her if she wants it. Um, what are these? <clears throat> Excuse me, this is, um, yeah. They're inside out, but you're gonna get the idea. They're just a pair of capris, space dye is what this print is called. This is a size large, gap fit, G-fast capri. Oh, these are super cute, and I don't have them listed, and that's okay, because whatever, they'll sell later. They're Hannah Anderson pajamas, they're a size eight. Ooh, <laughs> that was funny. Um, I think I'm gonna give them to my son if they still fit. And then we'll sell them for next Christmas. So throwing that in the pile for him. Now I remembered why I hadn't listed them. Well, I also hadn't listed them because I don't list anything till I do the haul, which is incentive on many fronts. These are a pair of Zella leggings. They're a size small and they are a skinny full length fit Zella um okay this is jewels which I wasn't familiar with until I actually started shopping at the bins this is a size five-year-old it says jewels original so I didn't even know they made kid stuff I picked up a women's jacket it does have the little tie here look at how pretty this is how cute is that um I wasn't familiar with Jules. I believe it's like a English brand, like English as in Britain. Um, and the comps were kind of good. I bought a jacket that was Jules, but the zipper was busted. So that sucked. Okay, this is Top Man. Is that Top Shop? Um, it's a men's extra large shirt. I just thought it looked cool. <clears throat> and I have another one in here too that I got. This is a North Face women's just athletic wear top, size medium. These are Zara Girls, size eight, just some cute leggings. It's got like little feathers and polka dots, coral colored. This is, sorry if the camera moved, Hannah Anderson 140, which is like probably a 10 year old. Thermal top, it could be part of a pajama set, but I couldn't find the bottom, so I just have a top. Um. <clears throat> this is a Zara Trophiluk, um size large dress. It kind of doesn't look like a large. I don't know. I'm going to put the measurements in here, but it doesn't look like a large. It doesn't even say Zara Girls because I thought maybe it was Zara Girls. Okay, this is something I'm going to give to my son. It's just a little old navy. Sure, only the finest for my child. Finest old navy. <laughs> this is a Columbia jacket, a girl's medium. It's really nice. I think Kayla saw this first and she didn't want it. Um, <clears throat> it's got a little bit of like, I don't know if there's a little bit of puffer in there. Um, but it's fleece lined, which is really, really nice. Okay, this is... A Patagonia extra small women's is it a women's maybe it's a men's I think it's a men's just athletic wear top this is this is a girl's I believe maybe it's not let me look hold please yeah it is it's a LuLaRoe girls dress which was I've never found like LuLaRoe girl stuff so it's a size 12 and it what is that oh hearts that's cute um, this is a, 
Oh, I didn't look up this brand, but it just looked cute. Maybe it's not nice, but it looked cute. Bebay. <laughs> kind of like eBay, but Bebay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> 12 year old dress, floral dress. Maybe I'll add that into my girl's lot of items. This is cute. This is a Patagonia girls size 12. Um, just fleecy jacket. It is lined. It's like pink, like a salmon pink. How cute is that? Um, this is a, oh, pony. I didn't know. Are people still buying pony? Um, size medium women's athletic tank. I just figured somebody's going to need an athletic top going into the new year. This is an Adidas size six girls jacket. Again, I may throw that into a lot that might just sell independently. Okay. This I later realized why somebody didn't pick it up. I mean, there's numerous reasons why somebody wouldn't pick this up, but I'm still going to sell it. Um, this is a Cleveland Indians puffer jacket and it is a starter jacket, which starter jackets can be worth picking up. Um, if this one was in perfect condition, then it would be worth some more money. Um, it is a size large. However, the zipper is busted right here. It's like literally like melted. Like somebody like took a lighter to it. So, I mean, somebody could put in a new zipper if they wanted, and this would be in great condition. But as is, it literally like you can't go up and you obviously, you can't go up and you can't go down. Um, so that was the obvious reason people didn't pick this up. Also, another reason is because um, this is not the most politically correct logo in my opinion. Um, there's no wonder why somebody in Seattle didn't pick this up because we would not have, <clears throat> I don't even want that in the background. <laughs> we would not have that um, character representing us. Okay, moving on. Sorry, trying not to move the camera here. This is a horny toad. Uh, size large fleece jacket is a very like light like blush kind of almost like a rose gold color it's really cute <clears throat> I feel like my friend Brittany just started a YouTube channel sorry I'm moving the cord here um, and Brittany's really great you should go watch her videos um, three thrifty sisters and it might just be the number three if I'm remembering correctly anyways I feel like in her most recent video she talked about <clears throat> horny toad and how they recently have rebranded and I think they're just now toad and co so if I'm remembering correctly okay this is a North Face girls extra large jacket kind of like a bluey almost like a Tiffany blue zip up that one's in really nice condition this is a ex officio size medium men's long sleeve brown shirt I'm trying to grab carefully this is oh so this is now my second time in like what the past couple weeks picking up aloe so apparently this is good like athletic brand it's a size small you know it's definitely like an older style or jacket um but i still picked it up because i think somebody will still want it it's very faded like a very faded blue okay these i don't think I found the match to, but that's okay because people buy mismatched pajama pieces. Okay, bank that one. Um, this is an 18 to 24 months Hannah Anderson pajama bottoms. Now with that in mind, they're not going to buy mismatched Carter's pajamas. They might if it's a certain and rare style. However, you got to go for something a little bit nicer. <coughs> it's like when I talked about the um, the the single shoes, right? You can't just do that with like a Payless shoe. You got to do it with a nicer shoe. Um, this is a Hannah Anderson pajama pajama top. I don't think I have the bottoms to this one. It's a size 100, just floral little thing. This is, oh my God, I'm moving the camera again. I want to just move this out of the way. That. We might be golden. Okay. I don't remember picking this up, but it's it was in my cart. So <laughs> this is a Nicole Miller Artelier. I don't know what that part means, but um, it's a size, oh, it doesn't say. I don't know what size this is. I don't think these numbers represent a size. 
<clears throat> but anyways, I don't know, it's a cute dress. I don't know, it's like a midi length. There's a lot of ruching here. I'm almost like, is it a maternity dress? And then kind of this dip dye ombre style. It's cute. It's just not something I would have picked up. Um, this is Pilcro and the letterpress, size 28, the Stet, S-T-E-T fit. I've sold these before. It's just a white jean and they are in good condition, which is sometimes, you know, rare to find white in good condition. Okay, I've got two tops in here that are like identical. So I'm gonna save that one because I wanna show you both of them at the same time. Okay, this is, I didn't look up this brand. It's Molly Kids, M-A-L-I. This is a size eight. It just looked really cute. So I'll throw it in my lot of kid stuff. Okay, this is another one that I don't know how it ended up in my cart, but it did. <laughs> this is a BCBG generation, extra small top. I'll probably just send that to thread up because I don't, I don't have any business for it. These are Hannah Anderson, size 14. It's just the top, but it's a um, little Halloween pajama top. Ooh, camera. Um, this is a Gap Kids, size small, 6'7", little fleece top. I might throw that in a lot, or I might just sell it separately, because that's just a nice piece. Um, this is another Horny Toad, size 10, women's shorts. Just like a khaki short. <clears throat> I don't remember grabbing, <clears throat> excuse me, grabbing this, but it's in my cart and I have no problem with that. This is a Prana dress, size medium. Prana, I don't know if you can see that. That's a nice brand to pick up. Um, it's just like an outdoor brand. Oy, oy, oy. A lot of the dresses are very similar in style that you'll see of these Prana dresses. Okay, this is Athleta, another great athletic brand like Prana. This is a size medium tunic or swim cover up possibly. It's real cute. Um, these are a pair of, I actually got two pairs of these, but one, I think something I got bled onto it, like the red, and so it had some red spots, so I'm not, get, I'm not gonna sell them. But these are just a pair of J. Crew chinos, size two chino shorts, and um, they're in good condition for being white. So we're not quite in summer yet, but we will be there at some point and I will be ready. So I don't sell or pick up this brand. I just don't pick it up, so that's why I don't sell it. But it's called Plione or Plione and it's a size small. It's actually really cute and I would keep it if it were my size. Just like a little blouse. Um, but I guess it sells for people because <coughs> I've seen it in other people's halls or closets. So I feel like maybe, maybe, Maybe I'm missing out. I don't know. Um, this is a pair of Zella size medium, just athletic shorts. I think Hillary gave me those. These are Nike dry fit, size small, capri leggings. They're in really nice condition. They're super cute. Um, this is that other Top Man shirt. This is a size. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know what size this is. Oh, extra large. Okay, here's that matching item. I'm gonna set that there. Okay, this is a peak, a little thermal top. This is a kid's brand. It's a nicer kid's brand, if you see it. This is a LuLaRoe size medium skirt. This is the color, I'm not gonna turn it inside out. It's kind of like that teal, and it's just like a flowy skirt. And this band, I think you're supposed to like fold over. This is a loft size small top. Um, I don't pick up tons of loft blouses, but I actually really liked this print. Thought that was cute. This is an Athleta top size small. Perfect little workout top for the new year. Oh, I do have the pajama bottoms, these little spring colored ones. So I guess I did. Here they are. Um, this is a mini Bowden top. This one is super cute. It's size 910. Okay. Ooh, I hit something. Okay, look at these two tops. They look the same, right? I don't know if the brands are the same. Okay, so I've never picked this brand up before. It's called Cooperative, and it's a size zero. So I don't know if these brands are related, but here is this one, right? With like an empire cut. Okay. 
then here we have this one. This is, I had to ask Brittany and Kayla, this is, or excuse me, Hillary and Kayla, this is John Galt, which I guess is Brandy Melville, with the Empire Cut. Like, it's the same top. Is Cooperative also Brandy Melville? Let's hold them up together. It's the same. That's weird. I don't think I found them in the same bin, but maybe I did. What was, oh, there's no size on the John Galt one. But anyways, weird. Okay, so anyway, I'll show you that tag for the, so that's Brandy Melville, I guess. Okay, what else do we have? This is, oh, this is a Torrid, I feel like Hillary gave me this. It's a size five, like blazer coat. It's kind of hard to see, but there's got this ruffle trim, like around the middle, goes all the way around the back. That's really cute. <clears throat> size five is the vanity sizing. So that equates to, I don't know if it's like a five X, but it's somewhere around there. This is from my last haul. <laughs> oh, don't hit the camera. These are a pair of Mountain Hardware corduroy pants. They're size six women's brown corduroy pants. Mountain Hardware is a good friend to pick up. Feel like Hillary gave me those. Okay, Hillary also gave me these. These are a pair of Lululemon leggings. I don't think they have a size on them. There's a couple ways you can check. You can like look in the little pockets and stuff. <clears throat> this is an older style. Let me see if I can display them with the tag or the, with the symbol. Oh, I just got a notification. I got $45.98. I wonder what I sold. Um, so anyways, they're like a more of a wide leg or boot cut. They're a full length. I don't know what size they are, like I said, because there's nothing here that indicates what they are, so I'll have to look it up. Um... You know, they have some wear, not no holes or anything like that, but maybe I'll just like take a sweater shaver to it. You know, I don't know a lot about a lot <laughs> um, of brands. I mean, I know, I know what I know. Um, and so I was talking to Hillary and Brittany and I was saying, you know, I feel like a lot of people, they'll talk about Lululemon and they'll say like all these like styles, right? Like wonder under and all this stuff. <laughs> And I have no idea. Like, I don't know. I'm not, I don't see a piece and I say, oh, that's the magical unicorn leggings. Like, I have no idea. Like, I have to look that stuff up. I have no brand knowledge of it. I don't wear Lululemon, which is probably the reason why. Talk to me about LuLaRoe and I can tell you a lot. Um, but the Lululemon, I just, yeah, there's just, mm -hmm. maybe someday I will. Maybe someday I'll look back at this and I'll laugh and be like, <laughs> of course, now I know. I'm head to toe in elastic. But um, currently, yeah, I don't. I don't know. Um, this, did I find it? I feel like somebody grabbed it and I was like, ooh, I like that. Um, it's a size large. It's just an old navy plaid button-up shirt. And I just really like the colors for myself. So speaking of my taste, <laughs> keeping that. Um... I feel like, again, Hillary probably gave me this. This is a mountain hardware size small dress. A little sporty athletic dress. It's pretty short. Um, can you see the pile? Oh my gosh. My husband is going to like kill me when he sees this pile in the bedroom. I'm going to try and relocate it fairly quickly. Okay, this is... <coughs> I'm familiar with selling... Garnet Hill, but this is Garnet Hill Kids, which I didn't know they had a kids line. So this is green cotton Garnet Hill Kids. This is size 14. I do have some kids size 14 stuff, so maybe I'll throw it in with that lot. Um, Garnet Hill is a catalog brand, I believe. Um, so I pick it up. That's what I'm saying. These were just super cute. Um, they're Lands End, it says Lands End Canvas, size 31 corduroy pants, a skinny leg. I don't know what the, what is that thing on there? I don't know, floral, some sort of floral. They're blue, I don't know. And look at, I haven't seen this tag for Land's End. Wait, can you, anyway. New to me style of tag. 
Um, these are Hannah Anderson size 160. I think these are boys. Mm. What's up with the bottom here? Oh, it looks like somebody hemmed them. So I'm going to have to just take out the he their hemming because they're kind of messed up down there. But anyways, just some corduroy pants. This is a, a size I'm not going to get to sell because I already got to give this to my friend Ty. <laughs> this is a Victoria's Secret pink size small little pullover sweatshirt um, that I'm going to give to her daughter because when it's size small, I usually give it to her daughter, which they were over at my house this morning and <laughs> her daughter walks in the door and I won't say her name because I don't know if she wants people knowing that stuff. But anyways, her daughter walks in the door and I was like, I look just like you because I was wearing my Victoria's Secret pink top. So anyways, that won't be for sale. <clears throat> these are a pair of, these are really cute, so I'm going to turn them inside out. A size, let's see, 24 page jeans with this red plaid fit or print. This reminds me of like when I was in high school and I would walk into Hot Topic and they would just have a million things with this red plaid print on them. I don't know if that's the case anymore. I feel like you go in there and it's just like all cartoony stuff and... Um, this is Weston Wear, which is or can be anthropology. It's a size medium, just little tank with kind of this asymmetrical hem. Um, somebody gave me this. This is a LuLaRoe, I don't know, it's maybe the Irma. It's extra small, but I really liked it. It's black with these red polka dots, which is super cute. Would have been nice for the holidays, but we're about to be Passa. These are... Oh, Seven for All Mankind jeans that are in good condition. The bottoms look good. They're not the A-pocket or the dojo style. <clears throat> they are boot cut, it says, size 26. So I will pick up seven jeans if they're cheap enough because people still do like buying them. Um, obviously, the dojo is the most preferred. These are another pair of Zella leggings, size medium. These are gray and they have just these like stripes on the back of the legs. That's kind of cool. It's not a vent, it's just got a black stripe. Okay, these are, oh, Oisel. I feel like I learned about this from Ty, this brand. Can you see it? O-I-S-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. These are just black Capri workout leggings. They do have these do have the mesh venting on the bottom and some like ribbing. It's kind of cool on the front. <coughs> Excuse me. This is inside out, but I'm not going to change it. These are, this is another North Face women's flash dry top. This is, oh, I think this is just children's place, but I thought it was so cute. It's a size eight dress with this. What do they call it? Is that like eyelet? I don't know. Um, we're getting closer towards the bottom. And then I got the stuff in the bathroom. Are you going to stay for that? Or are you going to like peace out for those 20 seconds when I have to walk away? Um, this is a J. Crew size large men's shirt. This, I feel like I maybe bought for me. This is a Massimo, only the finest, size extra large women's black pleated skirt. It does look a little wide, but if it doesn't fit, I'll sell it. Um, <clears throat> this is a French Connection dress. I don't know what, oh, it is silk. I was gonna say, I was like, I don't know what the material is, but it feels like silk. It's really pretty. Size two, how do you do this? I think there's pockets. There's pockets. That's really cute. I can hear my husband downstairs. I'm not afraid of him. I just, I'm bogarting our bedroom. Um, ooh, I need to wash this because it's going to be for Ty's daughter also. Brittany, grab this. It's a pink bag. Okay, this is probably going to go to a thread up unless they won't take it. Um, stylus, where's that? Like Macy's or something? It's a 3X kind of ombre, really pretty flowy skirt. Originally $56. This is a LuLaRoe, new with tags. This says Bianca. I've never heard of the Bianca. Let's see this. Size three. Oh, this is probably for a girl, like a little girl. Just like Kimono Cardigan. Sorry, I'm turning off my notifications that <clears throat> keep popping up. 
This is super cute. This is a mini Bowden. It says size 12, uh, 8. Maybe it's not, oh, it's not mini Bowden. This is just regular Bowden, size 8. <gasps> this is cute. Women's hoodie, and it's got this, like, a fleecy, fuzzy, super soft. That's cute. I thought it was mini Bowden. <clears throat> okay, this is Laura Ashley London, size 6, little girl's dress. People do like picking up or buying Laura Ashley, especially like vintage pieces. This is, this was just too cute, I had to pick it up. It's a Disney Tsum Tsum Extra Large 1416 dress for girls. That's adorable. Okay, these are, mm -mm -mm. what is the tag? <laughs> I don't even know what this, uh, Rena Rowan. Mm, I don't know if thread up will take that. It's a size 10, new with tags, pants. But I was planning on finding that thread up. Okay, these are a pair of Topshop Jamie style. 32, no, it says waist, 25 to fit, oh, length, 32. 25, 32. Gosh, these are teeny. Um, just black jeans. Wow, look at that waist. I don't think I've ever had a 25 waist. Do you have a 25 waist? What's life like? Is it nice? Um, these are Old Navy Rockstar, size two, regular, right? Y'all are in that same bucket if you wear a size two. What's life like? Do you just eat a lot of food? Like I just imagine those people are the ones who like eat a lot of food and then they don't gain weight. Me too. Um, these are North Face 36, men's just pants <laughs> man pants um these are gap 29 slash eight regular skinny oh ankle zip i love an ankle zip pants okay these are athleta size six long skinny kind of like a light shell Athletic pant. This is, um, oh, new with tags, Banana Republic outlet, size eight, originally $60, pinstripe career skirt. I'm gonna set that to thread up. Oh, I'm sorry, I keep hitting the camera. Um, this is new with tags, Benetton, originally $64.50, size four uh, <clears throat> skirt with some pleating on there and a floral print. Um, these are another pair of Old Navy pixie style pants. They are a size four, but they're adorable. I love these. I feel like somebody going on vacation needs those. Okay, these, this is Lulu Roo. I've never heard of it, but it's size zero to three months. And I do, I have been collecting some infant stuff that I thought was cute. Okay, these are Free People, size 28 jeans. They're like a colored jean, it's blue. It's almost, it's got some like purpley undertones to them. Um, these are Hannah Anderson 160 boys plaid shorts. Holy moly, running out of room. Um, another pair of Free People, size 28, these are like more of a coral or salmon pink. Um, this was so cute, I had to grab. I didn't look up comps, it just looked really cool. Ooh, it's 55% silk, 45% ran, size small, petite, Liz Claiborne, vintage sweater. Oh my gosh, if I can get that la listed soon enough. New Year's? A little New Year's piece. I think most of the Things are on here. I mean, it's in pretty good condition for being however old it is. Okay, can you wait right here? Can you give me like two seconds? I'm gonna go grab it from my bathroom. I have like six more pieces maybe. Hold on.
here we go. It's maybe eight. Okay, so this is a, I think Hillary gave me this, Bonab Bonabos, size medium, I believe this, it's a women's? I wasn't familiar with this brand, but she said it's a good brand. Top, maybe it's a men's. Okay, this is Brave, size small. I don't know, I don't know if I grabbed this, why I grabbed this, but it just looked really pretty. Isn't that cool? I think it's a tunic dress, something. This is, okay, this is Rip Curl, size small. It's like a surfer brand, but it's linen, which of course I loved, but then look at the back. The back is like split up the middle. I mean, it's got kind of those, uh, what's it called? Festival vibes. This is Madewell, size small, sweater. This is all in my bathroom because I washed it and I had to line dry it. This is a Zara basic collection, size medium shirt. And it's got this cool like stripe, but I guess you won't, no, you will see that because it, oh, it snaps. Yeah. And it has it down the sleeve as well. That's cool. This is Isabella Bird, 100% linen, extra large, kind of like a mustard yellow top this is cool this is like a free people dress <clears throat> size medium it needs to be like steamed but look at this I've, ne I've never seen anything like this I'm not displaying it the best but it's cool looking well yeah anyway. okay this is an Athleta linen tank size large sleeveless this is a Banana Republic linen, size large <clears throat> tee, which I think I'm gonna keep for myself, throw it in that pile. This I got for myself, it's just Target, a new day, extra large, like little shrug, but it's kind of metallic print. I actually might wear that tonight. I'm going to a Christmas party event. This is a Land's End size eight swim bottoms. Okay. Last but not least. Okay, I already like steamed it, kind of, but these are joie overalls, denim overalls, can you see? It does have a belt, which is just not here, and it has pockets. Are you familiar with joie? J-O-I-E, you can't really see it. It's a size eight. Anyways, that was my fun find, I think, for the day. Yeah, there wasn't anything like insane here, but I feel like I got like a good consistent amount of items. Um, today is December 23rd. Tomorrow is my friend Ty's birthday. I just have friends with birthdays all up in this month. Tomorrow is my friend Ty's birthday. She is Lux Huntress on Instagram. I don't think there's any like underscores or anything like that. Um, if you want to go wish her a happy birthday, that would be really kind. I think she's going to be joining YouTube soon go comment and say, we can't wait to see you on YouTube because she will be very excited about that. Um, other than that, I don't think I'll probably post another video before Christmas. Um, I know I said I was gonna do an about me video, so that'll probably be my next video. Um, I am going to Palm Springs on the second, which I'm really looking forward to that. So there's probably gonna be not really a video, I'm thinking. I do wanna maybe thrift a little bit on that trip. Um, but yeah, other than that, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. I hope I've managed to entertain you a little bit in this like fourth quarter part of this year. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I do mean that truly and honestly. Um, it's very exciting that people are interested in anything I might have to say. <laughs> okay. I could ramble forever, so I'm not gonna, um, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching guys. I appreciate it. Bye.